Number 10, Battletoads. Battletoads is stuff of legends. Back in the day, this game was one of the games to play, whether you rented it or bought it. The game starts off easy enough, just begging you to play it more. It isn't until you get to the Turbo Tunnel you realize this game is a beast. Not only platform-wise, but in every other way. Bosses can be cheap, ending your life with a single stomp or an attack. It is known for its over-the-top platforming, and I love it. You wouldn't think it possible to beat this game, but with enough tries, you'll get it. Because of its insane difficulty, I have to put it low on this list. Number 9, Ninja Gaiden. What would a list be without Ninja Gaiden? How do you make a top 10 list and not put Ninja Gaiden on it? It has cutscenes. Probably the first game to truly give you a visual story. Its action is really good and the platforming is fun. However, it's also a difficult game. You will find yourself beating stage 1 easy, on to 2 and 3. You start to realize how difficult the game is getting, but you have unlimited continues. The game will test your patience, but like with most games, if you keep trying, you'll get it, and you'll eventually feel heavily satisfied knowing you made it through. Number 8. Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is all about the platforming. It is a good game. It is a hard game. You have your standard stages where you'll either be scrolling up the screen or going from left to right. Eventually, you will make it to a dungeon where you can choose your path. Of course, there is always a right and wrong direction before you make it to the boss. If you're looking for some good platforming action, then this is a game for you. Number 7. Gargoyles Quest 2 Gargoyles Quest 2 comes off as an adventure game at first, and it is indeed that, but it involves a lot of platforming. I was pleasantly surprised by the spin-off of Ghosts and Goblins. You play as Firebrand, and as Firebrand, you can hover in the air for a little while and climb walls. You definitely feel as you are playing the character. Definitely a game to add to your collection of platformers if you haven't already. Number 6. Batman. Batman is based off of the first Batman movie with Michael Keaton, though it seems to be loosely based off of it. You have different kinds of weapons which does include batarangs. Aside from his arsenal, he has his fists to go up against enemies. You have to stock up on your weapons along the way as they are limited. Each weapon uses a certain amount of your stock. The bosses are interesting and you can guess who you fight at the end. The platforming isn't too much of an issue and I love the fact that you can jump from wall to wall. It's fun and short. Definitely worth giving it a try. Number 5. Ghosts and Goblins Ghosts and Goblins is a tough game indeed. You'll fight tooth and nail to make it to the Critten that kidnapped your girl. It's a hard fought challenge from the start of the game to the end of it. There is a surprise in the game I can't spoil. If you know, you know. The story is simple, but you don't need much for story when the game is just so good, even though it will cause frustration. You'll need to learn how to manipulate enemies and how to use the weapons wisely. Number 4, Castlevania. Castlevania is one tough game. The original series in general is a tough one. Castlevania has a lot of platforming involved, which a lot of times you need to time correctly or it can result in an early game over. A lot of practice is required to get through the game. It is known for its difficulty, but difficulty never took away from the fun. Frustration, yes, but never the fun. You'll fight your way through Dracula's castle to finally meet up with and defeat him. The journey is what the game is all about. At the end of it, you finally feel accomplished. Number 3. Metroid.
Metroid is a lot about discovery. Looking around and finding hidden areas that you normally wouldn't think would be there. It kept me playing for hours on end. Shooting everything, bomb everything. It's also rewarding. Even though the focus is on discovery, there is a lot of platforming involved. It's not especially hard for it, but there are some really tough areas in the game that do involve platforming. It's a great combination of exploration and platforming that gives this game the number 3 spot. Number 2. Kirby's Adventure Kirby's Adventure is a great adventure game, but it's also a really good platformer. I have nostalgia for it. However, that doesn't mean it isn't a good game. The movement is great, and it's nice and smooth. Creative worlds and you can absorb enemies' powers. Couple this with unique bosses and you have one hell of a platformer. This game definitely earns its number 2 spot, and probably can be switched with the number 1 spot. Number 1. Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a fantastic game with a lot of variety. The platforming is very smooth, you have 8 different worlds to visit, each with their own theme. This makes the game truly unique. All worlds and levels are designed around the theme. There are a lot of secrets in the game, as well as some bonus minigames. The game can be a challenge for someone that hasn't played the game, but it's overall a really great game and deserves the number one spot. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. See you in the next video.